Hi, my name's Brian Dickinson. I'd like to show you how to use the UVM Register Viewer in Incisive to help you debug your register models. We can open up the viewer either by going to the uh, UVM tool menu here, Register Viewer, or indeed from the UVM pull down at the top. We can also access the Register Viewer through there. We open it up, there's nothing much to see at the moment because I haven't run my simulation, I haven't run the build phase, I haven't created my register model. There's an easy way to run the simulation forward to the end of the build phase. Uh, we have an icon here which does this, looks like a square block with UVM. If I press this button, it'll automatically run the simulation to the end of the build phase and to, in fact, the end of the elaboration phase. Uh, we've created the register model and we can now see it inside the viewer. Um, in the viewer here, we have a breakdown of the hierarchy of the model. So I have a block of registers here. Um, and I can push down and look at the hierarchy of the registers. The status register here has uh, eight fields within it. I also have a block of memory here, but there's nothing to show for that because we don't mirror uh, memory in the register model to save uh, space and time in simulation. There's a couple of things I can do with this. If I go back to the register here, uh, for example, I can change the uh, offset, how the offset here is viewed. At the moment, it's in decimal. I can change the radix of that to be hexadecimal, uh, just refresh the model, and you can see now the, uh, rate, the offset is viewed in hex rather than decimal. Um, I can also pick up any of the registers or the fields and put a breakpoint on them, so I'll select the M0 read field down here, do a right click, which gives me the ability to add a breakpoint to that. I'll put a breakpoint on the value change of the register model. So now when I run the simulation, okay, the simulation will stop when I have a change in value of that field of the status register. And as you can see here, the transition's gone from a 0 to a 1. So all the transitions are highlighted uh, to show you their value changes since the last time you stopped the simulation. And indeed, if I put now a breakpoint on the M3 read here on the value change, run the simulation again, OK, we'll run forward to a point where the M3 read bit has changed. And you can see here the blue shows you all the bits or the registers which have changed value and the values from which they've changed from uh, from the last time you stopped the simulation. So that's the register viewer. Hopefully it can help you uh, debug and understand what's going on inside of your register model. You can find out much more about UVM register modeling on Cadence's System Verilog Register Verification using UVM Training Class.